Welcome back to your favorite channel. Right now, I know this isn't your usual intro, but I'm back in Jamaica right now. I'm actually in my storeroom slash workroom. This is where the magic happens. Editing, I fix stuff, I build stuff, I break stuff. All right, so I know y'all have a lot of questions. First is, where is the morning video? <laughs> But may I get to that in a second? And the second one I think is um where are the rest of videos from St. Vincent? But to be honest guys, long story short, the trip the trip did not work out. But you know, still have some nice experiences, which may I gotta explain further on the video guys. So y'all just watch the whole entire video to get a better understanding. But for right now, um I'm gonna show you all what happened with the Marlin. I'm not gonna say much um until further down in the video but i speared a big marlin and y'all just you know just you know, just watch it and see what i've won so let's we'll see what we'll i again leave out from about five o'clock this morning so finally reach at the spot we are actually on the Atlantic side so anything can swim up on at any given point but we will find a monster today guys so you have to stay tuned and jump in the water
Tu es fou d'amour, mec, tiens Oh, mais t'es calme Like he might travel for a water tap. Yeah, like, he, he okay. Yeah. Uh, but you 
problem. <laughs> we'll see my geometry water. chasing this fish for at least half an hour now and he's still a pull hard so we there just wait for him to slow down a little bit and see if we can intercept him but he's going pull real pressure he can't keep up come on yeah. <laughs> see you know? come on, come on. get there yeah boy Yeah, so that what that's what happened with the marlin guys. He just were trailing it for about an hour trying to intercept it each time it slowed down, but it just keep going, keep going, keep going. So no matter how we try, as soon as it slowed down, I'll make a jump and try to intercept it, it just keep going faster than how we could swim to catch it up. So so we, we just had to follow it with the boat and let the marlin tire, tire itself and after an, after over an hour we were there and the marlin just went straight down and that's where everything up the line break and it was just an art break um didn't feel like doing any more video for the rest of the day like finishing up the video but my friends was there like cheering me on and saying like yeah why well, you have to finish the video and thing and i was like mm, not so sure about that but eventually get back into the spirit a little bit and just feel my little and then after that we just go home pack up and then head back to jamaica because the flight i think the flight was the next was the next day i think yeah so we had to leave there but it was a good experience guys and you know hopefully next time when i work out better um can plan can plan an spear fishing trip to a different country where we can get a spear of marlin where the possibility of seeing one will be much higher because we weren't really out looking for marlin we were more like looking for wow and barracuda in the same spot uh, get the chance on the, the wow you know kind of get too excited and swim it down and shoot it and end up tear off on god and just keep in mind that marlin is way bigger than me guys so just compare me and the marlin i am six feet one and 218 pounds so just compare that to the marlin and you will know like that was a big marlin the camp like literally the camera and i do it justice guys guys you know the gopro wide angle lens and i really get the the feel of view where you want to really see the size of it but 
my guess is that Marlin is over 200 pounds. My friend that was there that saw everything, he said the same thing. All right, so now that you all have seen what happened with the Marlin video, it's time to get into why I haven't posted any more videos from St. Vincent. Uh, so yeah, where to start? All right, so. All right, so the St. Vincent trip, it was, initially, it was supposed to be a whole entire spearfishing trip. But then I started to do some research and I saw that they had volcano and one heap of little thing and thing and thing. And I say, yeah, this look interesting. more want to do this. But you know what the thing is? My friend that does the spearfishing, he doesn't like do other tours like that, like go volcano or do other stuff. So he was suggesting that I find somebody else that would have taken me to do those stuff. He would take care of the spearfishing part. That was the only thing that was covered on the trip, the spearfishing that was solid. That nothing could have make that not happen so i went ahead and found, and found a tour guide and was planning with them prior to the trip and everything seemed all right we find out the cost to do certain things and some of the things them realized them now can do so they might make the connection to other people that do it when we could have go with so come some of them now and go trinidad from trinidad go st vincent and the trip was off to a bad start because Tiffany lose her bag at the airport about three days to take off to get it back and that was just a big setback. The trip was off to a bad start and then we start doing some videos and now start to show some videos, start the volcano, start to do something and thing and further along in the trip now the first time I met me know see them now have no the time for like go out every day like me not expect for you go out every single day for the content because even we were one rest day same way so we expect to have available at least one three time out of the week or one four time and because we are paying for the experience and like say we are come and say you oh, want a thing free we are paying for it so we expect to you you to make the time so when time will come Yep, we could have figured out what we had to do this day, what we had to do that day. But instead, you don't have you don't have no more time and you have work and stuff like that. Like same time in my head, me pray and me and say, yo, why you don't make a book with you if you know you gotta have work? So it's like me don't really like them one-off thing. There. It's like me a pay for experience, me, 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 me expect say yo, me get what me a pay for. So it's like you no know, everything just you get frustrating and I just never bother, I honestly just never bother want to do that because you know, I plan so long with this person and then it just didn't work out. It just, you know, because it, it was a big loss for me and it was a big loss for Tiffany also. So, we just did it, guys, and start looking into it. And I say, you know, so I'm going to try and make some videos because we come all this way and spend all this money. We expect to we'll do some videos. So, I say, alright. So, in the last minute now with all of that I try to find tour guide like that was like the hardest thing we link up some creators from St. Vincent we link up some local tour guide but maybe I try to make it happen but it just the last minute thing guys just never make it work out everything was just the last minute because the other tour guys that I link with them also have work and them book out this idea and them book out that day so it's like it's because we never planned with them prior to the trip it just never work out and you know when i expect everybody have a free you know them have them work or whatever but that's that was the whole reason of me planning it prior to the trip because me have, me have plan to get them availability to pursue the videos but that just never work out and as i said before guys okay i stress it no more it was it was a big loss and I just hope it work out better. I hope just you wish the person who plan with the communicate to better and make me know say how they might have work and all these things. So we don't go ahead and, and find another tour guide easy because a lot of people from St. Vincent are link way up and we choose that specific person. Thinking that the trip would not work out, but it was that was one of the worst mistakes of the trip. And you know we try and make it happen but it just never happened this is the last video from st vincent and we actually done a jamaica now i filmed this because when i was over there i wasn't in the mindset i wasn't in the mood or anything to film anything so 
come on Jimmy, you cannot do this now, but you know, St. Vincent wasn't all bad, you know, guys. Don't get me wrong, we had some good times, but you know, we still enjoy ourselves and we'll get some experiences. We get to shoot a fish of a lifetime, which me did Jamaica all of my life, and that never happened. And as soon as Marie St. Vincent that happened, so I'm super grateful for that, grateful for all the experiences. Them. Enjoy yourself, but I just wish the trip would work out a little better or we could have made more videos, but yeah, that is it. So, right now, the Jamaica is going to try to figure out what I'm going to do because the plan was to go to St. Vincent and get enough videos so we could have come back and go and edit and drop videos and get a little time for rest and plan out new ideas, but no, we come back without any videos so I jump on it same time again try to find some other stuff to do in jamaica which all of the stuff from my plan in jamaica kind of water based and right now the weather is terrible and just can't get to do them stuff there right now so i've kind of i feel a thing kind of figure out and i say yo what the next video so yeah that is what happened guys and um, i work on something soon and drop back some more content so y'all just stay tuned if you make it this far to the video Thank you all for watching your real one and appreciate all the support guys um, without you couldn't make it this far so really appreciate that and I look forward to the next trip so y'all just stay tuned and see you on the next one alright